Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with the first episode of what's going to be hopefully a new Let's Play on Kenshi. Now, Kenshi is a game that I've been asked to play several times, and I was just never quite sure how to go about making a Let's Play for it, because frankly, the game can be very slow at times, there's a lot of grinding, and uh, it wouldn't be inaccurate to say that it um, is functionally a, a walking simulator in a lot of cases, but it's also a game with a lot of potential, and... Uh, a, a true sandbox game, which is something that I absolutely love. So we're going to try it out, see how things go. Um, and if there's just no interest, then I won't continue or I'll just play it on my own time. And uh, if it goes well, then we'll keep playing. But uh, anyways, if you're not familiar with Kenshi, it's sort of like a, a top-down, like old-school RPG almost, but then... If you combine that with, like, city building and survival and RTS elements, the game has a lot going on. Um, and it's probably easier to just watch and see for yourself how it works rather than having somebody explain it to you. But the game allows you to take a variety of different starts. And there are ones from being, like, abandoned in the desert, missing limbs, or being captured as a slave and having to break yourself out. Uh, you can start as a legendary warrior with a holy sword, but a ton of a ton of bounty on your head. Or uh, you can start with the one that I've selected here, which is a bunch of um, people looking for a fresh start. This is an interesting start situation because the game lists it as easy slash hard. Whereas other ones have like a, a set difficulty. And the reason for that is because with this start, you do get some good resources to begin with. And I'll go more into what those are uh, when we kind of look at the characters and their inventories. But you get some supplies and you get some money. And the idea with this playthrough is you could potentially go off and start your own city somewhere. Uh, it would be hard to do, but you could do it. Now, the difficulty from this playthrough comes from the fact that none of these characters have any skills. So, for example, we'll take our main character here, Rook. Uh, and if we look at his stats, uh, he starts at 1 in everything. And that's true of all these characters. So, while you do have 6 of them, they're all really terrible at just about everything. So, they're not going to be any good in the fight. Um, they're going to be pretty slow working. And the other thing is you not only have to keep these six characters alive, but you have to feed them. And feeding characters can cost quite a lot of money. So there's definitely some trade-offs in having more characters at the start. Now, the goal for this playthrough is eventually, yes, we want to found our own kind of city. That's, I think, ultimately the end game of Kenshi. But before we do that, I want to start our own maybe like trade empire. And then we'll build our own city and have that become part of it. But for now, what we're going to do is probably just try to set up a little mining operation. So where we currently are, and you may have noticed we're on day two. I did take some time to run over here. Uh, and I actually cheated a little bit in that regard because we had to run through some pretty precarious stuff. I sent Bucket to do it. And then uh, you can load your save with like a squad reset. And so we basically just teleported everybody here so that we could start at this location rather than wherever it dropped us randomly. So uh, this location is Squin. We are in, um, let's see, like Shek territory. Shek are these guys with the horns here, like Groks there. And... So the backstory to these guys is that they've just fled south from the Holy Nation who are a bunch of like uh, religious zealots and racists and xenophobes. They just don't like anybody unless you're human and male and uh, worship the same god that they do. Sounds kind of familiar actually. But um, anyways, our people have fled there and picked up some stragglers along or fled from there and picked up some stragglers along the way. And so let me introduce you to those characters. Uh, Rook is our main character. And my ultimate goal for him is going to be sort of like a, a samurai swordsman, maybe some assassin skills. I want him to be a really good one-on-one -on -one duelist. Also, um, to be pretty swift and stealthy. 
And let's see, what other skills are relevant here? Uh, what's the hotkey for status? Anyways, um, so he's probably going to be doing, like, lighter two-handed swords, maybe like a Nodachi. This game has a, a real heavy, like, Japanese twist to it, so all the weapons are, um, like, feudal Japanese weapons. But he's going to be primarily a fighter, and again, one that's a little bit more reliant on swiftness rather than brutishness, uh, which is not the case for Grox. Grox, Grox is going to be the opposite, like a true warrior, um, heavy armor, heavy weapons, that's his whole deal. He's from the Shek, who are like a warrior race, and he is also from the warrior caste of that race, so he is a warrior through and through. And so he's already got a pretty decent weapon here in this horse chopper. Uh, I say decent, it's it's terrible, but considering what everybody else is starting with, it's not the worst. And then uh, we have Cat. She's going to be like a rogue, so more of a thief to uh, Rook's like uh, assassin skill set. Uh, I'll probably have her use both melee and ranged weapons, but we're going to try to make her an expert um, thief and uh, lock picker for us. We have Balder. Uh, Balder's the little dwarf here. Dwarves aren't actually a thing in this universe, but you can make a, a pretty good variety of characters. So I made a dwarf, and he's one of the Pale Landers. There's different races of humans. There's like Greenlanders, Pale Landers, Ashlanders, or something like that. And I think one other, but he's a Pale Lander. These two are Greenlanders. And so I thought it'd be funny to just make a Pale Lander who is a dwarf. And so there he is. He's going to be kind of an engineer for us, among other things, uh, a worker as well. We have Drone, who's one of the Hive, where is Drone? So Drone is actually a drone. He's a drone soldier. And I don't believe you can get a drone soldier in playing the game. You can get all sorts of different characters to join your party. There are some Hive characters that can join you, but I don't think any of them are drone soldiers. So I thought it'd be cool to have one in our party to start with. Uh, I want him to be a swordsman as well. I kind of envision like a, a samurai drone. I think it'd be cool. But for starters, we're all just going to be grunt workers. So he'll get the same treatment as everybody else. But eventually I'd like to make him a, a swordsman. Then we have Bucket, as in Russ Bucket. He is a skeleton. I don't know that you can really see him in this current shot. So let's pan around. There he is right there. The skeletons are like sentient robots. And so he is a little bit sturdier because of that, but he's also harder to fix. So if he takes damage in combat, we have to buy repair kits. We can't just heal like we can with everybody else. And so there are positives and negatives to having a skeleton in your party. Uh, one other positive, and what he's going to be mainly doing for us, is that they're good at research, and so he is going to be our main researcher and uh, it will take some time for us to get to that point. But essentially, if you want to start building your own city in Kenshi, you need to do a lot of research first in order to figure out how to build the things that you need. And so one of our goals is going to be to make enough money so that we can buy a house in town. It doesn't have to be this town necessarily, but there are like broken down buildings here that we can buy. Uh, this one is twenty, almost 20,000 cats, which is the currency, that little C. We have 4,000, so we're a ways away from being able to buy that. You can also buy intact ones, but they're quite a bit more expensive. So um, buying one here might be difficult, but there are other places on the map where we can buy stuff. In the hub, for example, the hub is pretty much entirely destroyed except for a few buildings. And there are buildings there that should be significantly cheaper. But keep in mind that if we buy a destroyed building, we do have to repair it. Now, that's not as much of an issue because, um, as you saw when I was going through the inventories, everybody is carrying, except for Grox. I don't think Grox has any because he's technically like an old soldier, uh, whereas these guys are just regular uh, drifters or something. Anyways, they have backpacks with building materials. So we have the materials to repair a building. We just need to buy the building to do it. But yeah, that is our group. Um, so again, we have like assassin, thief, engineer, um, swordsman, researcher, and warrior. Those are the goals for those characters anyways. And so what we're going to do here 
to get us started is, uh, and the reason I picked this location, is there's actually a couple of mining nodes around here. So we're going to start making our money by just mining ore and then selling it to the city. Now that might take a long time, so rather than have all six of our characters doing that, I am going to probably have three or four of them work on it, and we're going to send a few of the others to go explore the nearby area. And since we're pretty near to the border of the Holy Nation, we might slip back across it and maybe try to do a little bit of theft in their territory to get back at them. So let's see, there's some nodes here. What is this one? This is a small copper resource, so we can only have one person work on that. Uh, let's have Bucket do that one. So he's going to go mine that. And then if I recall correctly, there was another... There's an iron resource there that can hold three people. However, iron doesn't sell for as much as copper. In fact, it's like half as much. So if I'm not mistaken, there's another copper resource around here that we can mine up. It's not that one. I just scoped these out, so I know it's there. It's just a matter of finding it. That's the one we sent. Uh, what's his face too? And that's the iron. The game will only let you pan so far away from your characters, so I can't go that way. Maybe it was over here, but I've already lost it. I don't recall it being that far. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, there we go. That can hold two. So I'm gonna have Balder and I think Grox work on those. So we'll let them work away. Meanwhile, I think Rook, Drone, and Cat are going to do a little bit of exploring. So let's grab those three. Uh, I can't select them like that. So here's what we're going to do instead. I'm going to go to Squad. We're going to add a new squad. We're going to call this one Explorers for right now. And we'll call this one Workers, just to help me figure this out. So then we'll move you guys down there. They're going to work. They're going to go explore. Now we can also rename our faction. We're not part of a faction now, but feel free to throw name suggestions. Although I probably won't take one until much, much later when our factions kind of goals and motivations are much clearer. But also feel free to throw names at me because we will need to um, name characters as we get them. So let's unpause, and off they'll scatter, and then you guys, if I can grab you, are going to go do a bit of exploring. We'll need to keep an eye on everybody because bandits will come by, and obviously we're no match for them right now. What we can do though is we can run back into town and these guards should have no problem handling them. And if we're lucky, we can scavenge a bit and sell what we scavenge off of those uh, defeated bandits. So where do we want to go? Um, I know that there is, I think, some villages, like roughly here and here, and then there's other Holy Nation stuff up here. So let's go south first. That seems closer. We'll start going right about there. Now we are going into the swamp, which is a dangerous place. But uh, you know, you got to take a few risks if you want to advance anywhere. And if we get into trouble, we'll just run away. Um, we'll be improving our athletics as we do this. Although, because they're carrying stuff, I wonder... I really need to figure out what the hotkey is for this. Let's see, athletics... Yeah, it is going up. So there's two different things that can happen when your characters are running. Also, I should probably have them run in formation. They'll be slower this way, but at least they'll stay together. All right, so we've made it down to the Swamplands. Now, I don't really know what we're looking for, but... Oh, perfect. That's what we were looking for, uh, the village. Oh, it's actually quite a bit further south than I thought, and it looks like there's some sort of animal nest right there, so we'll need to be very careful about that. But let's go investigate this village. It's not too far away. I'm actually having them sneak while they move. Uh, that should improve their sneak skill. Let's see how fast that's happening. But we were increasing our athletics. It is still going up, but we should be doing the stealth as well. No, apparently not. Um, let's see. I'm going to pause quickly. So, aided by... No, I don't care about aided by. Ways to train. Use stealth mode with enemies. So there needs to be somebody that we're actually sneaking from. We can't just sneak around <laughs> in the open. 
we have to actively be hiding from something. All right, so I just checked back in on uh, Grox and Balder, and I completely forgot that uh, we have to actually take... Well, they should do it automatically if they have somewhere to actually bring it. But since we don't have like any sort of machinery or anything set up, any storage places, uh, the ore is just going to accumulate in this resource thing. So we have to actively take it out. Um, and then I'm sure the same is true over here. So they're probably just standing around because these are full. No, not quite yet. But since I'm here, uh, we'll take a few of these. And because we have these wooden trade backpacks, it'll actually stack in there, which is nice. So um, we'll let them keep working, but we are accumulating ore. How much is that worth, actually? I've forgotten. Um, so each one of those should sell for about 236. And so that means every 10 we sell should net us about 2,000. Um, so we'll make decent money on this. We will be spending a lot of money on food. And if we get injured, places to sleep, but... I think we can turn a profit from this. So let's get back to you guys. Okay, um, let's let the game load a bit. So we're almost there. Just have to keep an eye out for what our sort of animals are here. There's also Swamp Ninja that can be dangerous. Pretty much everything's going to be dangerous right now. So we're just going to do our best to not be seen. Oh. I think those are river raptors. Is that what you are? I believe that's what they are. It's not going to tell me. Oh, yeah, swamp raptor. Got it. All right, keep moving. Just try to stay out of sight. I don't remember if these guys are openly hostile or if they're more like scavengers. I feel like the river raptors will ignore you. Unless they come to like scavenge corpses and try to eat crops. And since we're neither of those, hopefully they'll leave us alone. I feel like this is dangerous though. We probably should have gone north instead and messed with the Holy Nation, but whatever. At least we will know what's down here and whether or not it's worth coming back to investigate again. But I figured we could try to steal some stuff from people that aren't the Shek. Or at least try to level up those skills. Um, what we can do is basically just repeatedly try to lockpick doors at night. That will help us get our lockpicking skill up. And I might try to level Rook in that too, just, just for the sake of it. Um, was I seeing that right? Athletics is 3. Somebody had Athletics 31. Maybe it was still on bucket. Nope, I don't know who that was. Maybe, oh, it was probably the raptor. Well, their labor skill's going up at least. Wow, he's actually pretty high already. He must really enjoy laboring. Yeah, he has a slight racial XP bonus for that skill, whereas um, you learn a little bit faster than a human. And uh, No, they're both at 5.3, or point, point 0.53, point 0.54, pretty much the same. It's higher than it was, so I think that's just the nature of their skills improving, making them learn faster. Okay, we're well into the swamp now. This village is a lot further than I thought. Alright, so we can see this swamp village in the distance. We're basically there. Let's go ahead and stop sneaking. I don't want to give these guys the wrong impression. I don't think they'll care, to be honest, but there's no point in doing it now. Um, so what do we got here? Swamp, Swamper Gate Guard. Okay. Let's head inside. We'll see what they've got. I'm going to slow things down a bit here while we're visiting. Come on, guys. It's not that hard. Go through the gate. And if we hold Alt, we should be able to see what all the various places here are. Um, let's pan around. Well, that's a shop. It looks like that's just like the adventurer's shop or whatever. They sell like backpacks and stuff. I guess we can go in there and see what they have. I'm also trying to keep an eye out for like potential trade routes. So I'll, I'll talk about it more when we get in here and look at their inventory. Okay, Rook, have a word. Actually, uh, there's no like trade or diplomacy skill, but 
Uh, I was kind of thinking that Kat would be that sort of person, so we'll let her do the talking. Okay, looking to buy? Um, yeah, let's trade. So, when you look at an item, there's going to be several values next to it. So this fishing rod, for example, um, there's just the value of the item, and then there's the sell value. So the value is what they are asking for, and the sell value is what they're willing to buy it for. In this case, they're the same. The average price is uh, basically what these sell for over the entire map averaged out. So um, you can see that the value that they're asking is actually noticeably less than what they're, uh, than what it would normally be. And then finally, we have the price markup, which is a percentage of the average of what they're asking. So the average price is 540. They want 466, and that is 86% of the average price. So it's actually a good deal. Uh, but not everything will be less than the average price. Some stuff will be more. And so I think it's pretty straightforward what you want to try to do. You want to buy low and sell high. So anything that they're selling significantly below average is what we would want to uh, buy and go sell elsewhere. And that hemp is actually really low. So I wonder if we could trade in hemp. This is also a very interesting helmet. Um, I don't want to spend more than half of my money on a piece of headgear right now. They've also got food here, though. That's good. Um, rice weed. But yeah, that hemp is, like, really cheap. So I'm wondering if it's worth buying and selling hemp. And we can do a little bit of trade. Now, I don't have any space for this hemp. And I don't know how much I could store in the backpack, so what would they be willing to buy this for? If I get some, rid of some building materials or some iron plates. We also have fabrics. I don't know how hard fabrics are going to be to come by later, but a lot of this stuff is what we need to craft things at our base. And so we need to keep in mind that if we unload this stuff, we're potentially hurting ourselves later. Um, but we have, like, everybody has five building materials on them. So, since you are the one talking to them, we'll work in your inventory. Let's sell the iron plates. We can always make more later, especially since we're dealing in ore. Uh, I'll sell these fabrics, too. I want to clear the backpack out entirely. So that puts us up to 5,200, and that's global currency. So everybody in our... Um, little clan here shares that. It doesn't go to like one character and then we have to split it to another. They've also got this really cool fog mask. Let's see. That's 100% protection from dust storms and gas. That's pretty good. And it's actually not that expensive. Um, I'm not going to buy one now, but we should keep that in mind and maybe later when we have more money and we need stuff like this, we can come by and buy a few of them. So how much hemp can we carry? Let's see how much it stacks. Nine. Okay, so I'm going to get 27 then. And we'll see what we can go sell this for back where we came from. Hopefully a decent amount. This isn't like contraband, is it? I don't think so. I know that you can make drugs in this game, and there's stuff like hashish. It definitely is. Um, I don't know why hemp would be, but just in case because we don't want to like go back to town and it turns out we can't enter with it or we get like arrested so yeah we we bought these for nine let's go see what we can sell them for and um eventually what we'll do is we'll unload all of this stuff and if we're gonna play as traders we'll have empty backpacks we'll go buy and then we'll leave um i can also use the tilde key to select them but let's send them home, or where home is temporarily. Um, I don't like the way the map works in this game. It's kind of inconvenient. So Squin is where we're making our base for the time being, so we'll send them there. I'm going to have to be very careful and watch them the entire way, because there's a good chance they'll run into something hostile. And we are far from protection once we leave this town. 
but it looks like we might have found a potential trade route. So we can buy hemp here, and we can hopefully sell it in Squin. I don't think they're growing hemp there, so I imagine they'd be willing to buy it, but you never know. Maybe that's just not something that Shaq are interested in, in which case we'd have to probably go... The hub isn't too much further north, and the hub is one of the homes of the Shinobi Thieves Guild. That's the hub right there. And those are humans, so presumably they would have a use for hemp if the Shek don't. But we'll find out. Alright, so we're laying low right now. I've got some Holy Nation outlaws up here. So I'm just going to kind of let them get ahead of us. I don't know if they'll be hostile toward us or not. They don't really have any reason to be. We're not part of the Holy Nation and we're probably closer to being on their side than the Holy Nations, but I, I'm not going to test them. I'm just going to let them get a nice little distance ahead of us, and then we'll keep sneaking along behind them, uh, which hopefully doesn't make them suspicious or anything like that. Uh, I think we can move up now. They're not facing toward us, so we should have no problem staying stealthy unless they turn around. Let's see, we'll get up to like there. But they're just taking their sweet time walking. I don't know if the game will give us any indication of whether or not they're hostile. Um, the name is Red, so maybe they are. We're not hungry, they are. So they're not being fed very well. Or at all, probably. <laughs> uh, oh, what's this? Nomads, okay. Well, they didn't immediately attack the nomads, so I think we're safe. The nomads are neutral, I know that for sure. Um, can we trade with them? Uh, no point in sneaking by them anyways. Uh, yeah, we can. Let's go talk to them and see what they have. Maybe they'll buy the hemp. Uh, okay, um, I have animals for sale. Let's see, show me what you have. I don't think I can sell them anything... I have this. So we could buy a bone dog pup. Um, let's see. We got pack bulls, pack beasts, goats. Those are ugly goats. Uh, looks like everything they're selling is a juvenile, and I don't really have the money for an animal right now. Anyway, so we will pass. It's a shame I can't sell them anything else. I want to see if they're willing to buy that hemp, but oh well. So let's send our guys back toward home. And I, yeah, they don't seem to be paying us any mind, so I think we're okay. Okay, so apparently I was wrong. They have decided to... Oh no, these are a different group. Where did they come from? Um, what the hell? They just like sprung up behind us out of nowhere. Uh, apparently they ignored everybody else on that route. Um, let's see. What if I drop some food? No? Gonna ignore the food? Uh, what are you? A wandering monk from the Tech Hunters. Will you help us? Will you help us, wandering monk? Just... Yeah, they don't seem to care about anybody but us. Well, that's fun. Um, I dropped food and they didn't seem to have any interest in taking it. So, hmm. You guys need to run at full speed. Make sure we're running here. And it looks like Cat is too encumbered from that hemp to do much. What we can do is have her drop the backpack. I don't know if she's going to be able to outrun them, though. Let's see, what are, like, your skills? Is that them? Strength 2, Athletics 5, current run speed is 35. I think that was her stats. Yeah. Yeah, she's encumbered, so she's not going to be able to outrun them. Here we go. Run speed is 14. 
What's our run speed? Eight. Okay, we're not getting away with them. Yeah, the backpacks are slowing us down too much. We probably should have just dropped this stuff on the ground before we left. We can come back for it later. For now, I suppose we can just ditch the backpacks where we are. So, drone. Drop your backpack. Rook. Drop your backpack. And cat. Drop your backpack. Okay, what's your run speed now? 16. I think we can outrun them now. So we'll just have to remember where we lost that stuff and come back for it later. Not worth losing somebody over. Did any of you get hit? Uh, he got hit in the leg a little bit. And it looks like it is bleeding. Yeah. We have medkits though. So all we need to do is basically get to safety, patch him up. And then we can just let him rest in bed for like a day. And he should be fine. But let's see. Are we going to be able to outrun them? It looks like only one of them can keep up. Also, let me just make a mental note. Okay, so just so it's on camera and you guys can remind me if I forget, that is where we dropped our backpacks, right there. So we'll need to remember to come back for those as soon as we've lost, lost these guys. Or better yet, lure them to the guards, let the guards clean them up, and then we'll take their stuff and go back for our own. And it looks like they will probably stay on us because they're close enough. If we leave them too far behind, we'll drop aggro. But since they're like right on our tails, I don't think we will. And I might even try to continue pulling it. Just because we know that we can outrun them now. So I'll try to lure them back to town and see what we can do about it. It does remind me though, um, I'm going to check back in on the rest of our group. I know that they're fine. Because you can see, like, this has a red highlight uh, that indicates that they are not fine. But I want to make sure that this isn't full. Oh, it is full, so they're not working right now. Yeah, I got to keep checking on that. Because as far as I know, there's no way to make them do it automatically until we have, like, a storage location for it. Uh, so his inventory is not going to hold anymore. So, Grox, do you have room? A little bit. So we'll let you hold those. I think that's all you can carry, though. Um, oh, you have a backpack, too. No, you don't. You have a backpack slot, right. Uh, let's see if we can arrange this to free up some more space. Doesn't look like it. So we might have to head into town. I wish you could rotate stuff. Like, that would fit right here. By the way, I apologize for the lag. The game is trying to load still, as you can see, so it's going to chug for a little bit. But yeah, I think they need to go back to town. So let's have them do that right now, especially since those bandits are coming. Probably not good to have these guys outside of safety. Uh, where's the nearest entrance? Probably that one. Yeah. So let's head on in. Um, I think there's like an armorer right here. Oh, that's the adventure guild or whatever. But that's fine, as long as they have a merchant. And Bucket, how are you doing? That's almost full. you got plenty of space, though. So we'll let him keep working away. Back over here. Um, it looks like... Are they still on us? Yes, although we are pulling away. Okay, so we've made it mostly down the hill. They're still on our tail. I'm actually going to send Bucket in, just because I don't want to again have somebody caught outside the gates so let's get him in there and I think I'm gonna let my people fight I'll keep one in reserve but the only way to level up your toughness oh god um, where are we somewhere over here um like I said I don't want to get people caught outside but the only way to level up your toughness in this game is to um, basically just get your butt kicked and get back up so once we get them in range of the guards and have them draw the guards aggro, uh, I'll join the fight with like all but one character, and we'll just throw down. And if you know we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. But at least then we have one person who can patch everybody up. It might cost us a bit of money to you know buy beds where we can rest. 
but um, it's a rare opportunity to level up our skills without too much risk. So I'm going to do it. Oh no, I think we lost aggro. Who's out in front? I think Cat is the fastest. No, I thought Drone was. Drone, what's your speed? 17? Yeah, Drone is faster. So Drone, I need you to come back and aggro them again. Where was that guy out in front? There he is. That was weird. I feel like this game is never not loading. Okay, are you coming? Come on. You can get us. We're right here. Yeah, I can't tell what they're doing. I'll, I'll need to click on them and see what their current AI thing is. But the camera hates these hills. So what are you guys doing? Following the leader. Where is your leader? I think that's the leader. He's assaulting. So they are on us. Okay, drone. Um, come like here. Uh-oh. What's this? Dust bandits. Oh god, there's going to be such a ruckus in this town. Drone, you better start running. Run, drone, run. Hopefully our other guys made it in. It looks like it. Uh, go, dude, go. Well, we're leveling up our athletics. Something. These guys have pretty good gear, so we might make out pretty nicely here. Of course, we still need to go collect our other stuff. Okay, I'm going to pause. Balder, what are you doing, man? Oh, I need to turn his job off. Bucket, I need to do the same with you. I don't want them going back to work. Grox, where are you? Oh, no. He never left. Oh, crap. Grox, you're killing me. Okay, um, I need you to hide then. Don't let anybody know that you're there. Okay, back over here. Um, I kind of changed my mind about letting them fight because the guys that are going to be running in there... Wait, why did you stop what you're doing? The guys that are going to be running in there first are going to be way too strong for us. I need you to go there. Drone. Drone's in combat. I'm not sure why. Did they catch you? He must have stopped running. Yeah, I think something happened with the orders. I don't know. What's happening here? Or are they fighting each other? I think they're fighting each other. So there's dust bandits attacking... Uh, hungry bandits. Okay. Well, we'll let them fight it out and we'll scavenge the corpses. But yeah, um, I think unfortunately I gave the wrong person the order. Baldur's in battle. Why? No, 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 no. We need you on passive. I need to do that for everybody. Uh, okay. So you guys all need to be on passive. And just get inside. Get over to where Bucket is. It looks like the guards are on the move, though. So maybe come out here and we'll see what we can do. Because we want to be, like, right on top of the looting. But we also don't want to get pulled into the fighting, necessarily. Uh, drone, you hang out here as well. Let's see. Uh, Rook, what do we got? Chainmail. Um, steel chance, zero. Really? But I think that's just because... Like, I don't think anything will happen if we do it. Uh, I think he'll just complain. But I'm pretty sure he's, like, dead or dying. No, he's just playing dead. Interesting. Um, I wonder if we should attack him. Can we attack him? Let's go off passive. And, I, yeah, I can investigate, but I can't actually fight him. And the issue is... No, I wanted to see his loot. He'll probably be able to take all three of us. Damn. Like, I want his gear, but if, if we take it and he gets up, we're just going to get our butts kicked. 
and uh, somebody could potentially die. So who's... Oh, that's his leg. You guys are all doing all right. We do need to get him patched up. So, Rook, do you have med kits? Yeah. Cat, you have med kits. Since they all have med kits, I'm going to put them all on medic duty. There we go. Forgot you have to shift click it. And they should patch themselves up. Okay, um, let's see. You guys are working on drone. What did you just do? Oh, that guy's coming in to attack. It looked like he tried to loot this guy or something. Uh, I don't want you fighting. Well, if he's going to chip in, then maybe. Nice. He just clubbed him down. All right, Rook, go investigate that guy, please. It looks like they've dealt with everybody. Okay, so we have a horse chopper. Uh, they have some wooden sandals. I'll take those. Half pants, the same ones we have. So what I'll do is I'll move this into his secondary slot, and we'll take this weapon. That way, if that guy gets back up, this this guy we're looting, um, he won't have a weapon. Then Cat, do me a favor and loot this guy. Stealing chance is still zero, so yeah, he's still just playing dead. Uh, Rook, go check out that guy. But yeah, the guards made pretty quick work of these guys. So we've got a helmet. Um... We can loot this stuff. So where is Grox? I feel like Grox should be the one wearing a lot of this. So Grox, come over here and loot that guy. And we'll have to come check out the rest of these corpses. Oh, does somebody have a bounty? Or is that us? I think that's us. You don't have a bounty. Uh, one of those guys might. I can't tell what they're doing, but they keep leaning down. Okay, so they picked somebody up there. Um, and there's still fights happening down the road. Well, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. It's probably insanely long at this point. I'm going to have to do quite a bit of editing. But I'm going to go through all these corpses, try to avoid drawing any aggro, and then uh, when we come back for the next episode... We'll see what we were able to come up with and um, how much money we were able to make off the ore and stuff. I'll, I'll wait to sell anything until we come back. That way we can actually see, like, all right, this sells for that, this sells for that. What should we continue doing? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Kenshi with you. Hopefully you guys find this uh, game interesting, and hopefully um, the video isn't complete trash. Uh, I know the game was really chugging at a lot of points. And so I'm going to have to find a way to see if I can get it to perform a little bit better. But the optimization clearly isn't great. Uh, but we'll see what we can do to iron things out. But thank you again for watching. Uh, I really look forward to seeing how this series plays out. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.